What's up, YouTube? Que lo que? My name is Christian Ramos, and I'm a the one, the only, the curl puppy. And today, we're gonna be trying out the most expensive hair mask in the world. So stay tuned, let's go. You are now watching The Curl Poppy. So first and foremost, I just wanna say, if you've been watching my channel for a while, you already know that I love me a good hair mask. But this is where things are going to take a crazy turn because I wanted to see what was the most expensive hair mask. And we found it. I found masks that were $50, $100, even $125. But this mask that we're gonna be reviewing today came out to $225 dollars and if you want to make it more expensive add on the tax i live in new york so that's 8.875 percent this mask the total after taxes shipping was free but the total after taxes came out to 245 dollars what's the most expensive hair mask you ask i have it right here you ready to see it Ta -da! So, this hair mask is from Philip B. And it is called the Russian Amber Imperial Gold Mask. And just off of the packaging, looks super luxurious. But, is it worth $245? So, if you're not familiar with the Philip B. brand, Philip B. is actually a professional hairstylist who has owned his own business for before I was even born, I'm 33, do the math. He's been out here for a minute. And he actually sells nothing but luxury, luxury hair care. And he even holds the record for the most expensive shampoo. So call me crazy, call me irresponsible, or call me just straight up extra. Because number one, why the heck did I think that I should be buying a $225 mask? Ooh. Who does that? I do that. What? Secondly, is this hair mask even gonna work for my type of hair? And then third, what makes this mask so special that it's so expensive? When you look at the packaging, it does give you high-end vibes. It's super shiny and pretty, but not to the point where you're like, oh my God, this is $225. Because if you look at the container, the container is actually plastic. And you would think for the price point that you're paying, you would be getting a glass container. So we're going to take a deeper dive at the information of this mask. What is it? It is a rejuvenating mask that helps structure, revitalize, revive, and regenerate your hair, restoring natural shine, luster, bounce and body who is it for it's for all hair types what does it do it helps rejuvenate hair damage by chemical processing heat styling and an environmental damage preventing further damage and split ends too luxurious and opulent this mask is a revolutionary way to protect and revitalize dry thinning and overworked hair sounds like a lot of promises so we're gonna definitely be putting this mask to the test further information about the mask it is eight ounces let me repeat that this mask is eight ounces for 225 dollars before tax eight ounces let that linger in the air it's paraben free sulfate free Plathalate free? Plathalate free? Listen, it's something free. It's cruelty free, made in the USA, and we're about to see if this hair mask is for me, is for you, or if it's even worth $225. Let's go. 
So as you can see, the container is shimmery, is shiny, is gold, is beautiful. Whether you put it in your vanity, your medicine cabinet, or your sink, it's definitely going to catch people's attention. But not more than the smell of this mask, which just smells amazing and luxurious. It's almost a little bit intoxicating. As you can see, the mask is gold and definitely has gold little shimmers. And overall gives you the feeling that you're using a luxurious product. As you can see, Taking the mask out of the container, the consistency of the mask is very lightweight and creamy. Rubbing it in your hands, it just melts. And whenever I see that a mask has this gummy kind of pushback whenever you're separating your hands, I already know that my hair is going to gobble and swallow this bad boy up. It is going to melt right into your hair and my hair was loving it. If it wasn't for the color of the hair mask and the fact that the mask had little gold shimmers, you actually wouldn't be able to tell that my hair had any type of hair mask in it. It actually looked amazing. I'm gonna go closer up so you can see how the mask is looking in my hair. And it looks super shiny. I'm sure it has to do with the gold little shimmer, but it was super easy to detangle with my hands and with my wide tooth comb. I did go in with my wide tooth comb just to make sure that we were distributing the product evenly throughout my hair. And I know when we're putting on a hair mask, we're not looking for definition or curl pattern, but I will say that this mask was giving me great slip definition and my curls were loving it. I'm not going to lie. It was definitely a great mask experience. I'm just going to go closer so you guys can see. Look at it. My hair is loving it. Look. Look, 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 look. Ooh, look at that poppage, that definition. Let's go, curls. For those who are new to my channel, I've recently been growing out my undercut, so I'm making sure I get every little nook and cranny because we have to show love to that new growth as well so that my hair can grow and flourish popping just like the top portion of my hair. The instructions state to apply a large dollop to wet hair and massage using a downward motion. Comb through your hair, leave in for three or five minutes. If your hair is very dry or brittle, leave in for 20 minutes or longer for a more intensive restoring treatment. I did watch a video where Philip used this mask on one of his clients and actually dried the mask with a hair blower on his client's head and left it in for five minutes and rinsed it out. We're not gonna do all of that because I'm in the shower and I don't wanna get electrocuted. But as you can see, after rinsing out the mask, my hair looks so defined and shiny and I've never, ever, ever seen results like this. If you can watch any of my other videos, I've never had results from just rinsing out a hair mask where I had this much definition and shine and bounce. And my hair overall was just loving it, loving it. When it comes to the ingredient list, the stand apart ingredients are pea peptides, strengthen strands, promote growth and prevent hair loss, oleosums, a time release botanical moisture delivery system provides all day moisture and shine, anti aging pyrus malice, which is apple fruit extracts, help protect hair from free radical damage, argan oil helps smooth frizz and repair split ends, L amino acids reinforces strands for added strength while enforcing regrowth. Pentanol, vitamin B5, reduces split ends and improves the texture of damaged hair. So first and foremost, I just wanna say that this mask obviously is not in everybody's price point. If you're where the money resides, go ahead and do you boo-boo, get yourself this mask. Nobody can tell you how to spend your hard-earned money. That being said though, I will say that this mask was very moisturizing. It did give my hair shine and it looked vibrant. It gave me great clumpage. And overall, you guys saw in the video the results. Like my hair was just loving this mask overall. For me, myself, I cannot say that I would, could justify spending $225 for a hair mask, especially when it's eight ounces. And I can find masks that are, <laughs> I'm not, I can't even say half the price. Like there's masks that are 16 ounces that are like $20, $30, $40. I'm sure that the ingredients in this hair mask are high quality and high class ingredients but there's so many other masks that are affordable that give you similar if not the same results i will say though my hair loved this mask it was amazing i just wanted to try it out see what the heck a 225 dollars mask was going to do for my hair and if i was going to enjoy it I'm the type of person that likes getting luxury items and why not buy a luxury hair mask? 
Obviously, I'm not gonna zoom in and show you guys results because I did style my hair with different products that weren't from Philip B. You guys are gonna see that soon. Compared to the price of this hair mask, I can buy the products that I used to style my hair four, five, six times over. From all of the claims, I can say from my experience, my hair did look shiny and it did feel moisturized, but I cannot justify, again, spending $225 for a hair mask. I wish that this mask was sent to me so that I can feel less guilty about spending $225 for a hair mask. But that being said, I liked it. I'm not gonna lie, I liked it. If you wanna splurge on something, this is what I decided to splurge on and I enjoyed it. I am gonna be using it all the way till it finishes. I am gonna be very cautious on how much I use of this product, because again, it is eight fluid ounces, and eight fluid ounces can go like this, like water. And I'm gonna try to hold on to this mask for as long as I can, or at least until it expires. <laughs> like the week before it expires, I'ma just, I'm gonna just, huah. obviously for this video, I put more than I needed to, just so you guys can see, so we can experience it together, and I have I don't even I don't I don't have anything else to say really all right guys if you like this video please like comment and subscribe also follow me on Instagram at the curl pop because you already know we posted some fleeky pics out here and if you want to watch more videos like this let me know I did make a video about the Dyson blow dryer which I'm using as a diffuser and if anybody knows that the Dyson supersonic is $400 maybe I'll make a playlist of the most expensive of different products let me know in the comments down below what do you think until next time guys bye